Subscribe and click the bell icon for the latest updates and notifications from the Indian Express. Last month, a picture of a traffic jam caused by climbers on their way to the Mount Everest peak went viral. It has since then triggered much outrage and many debates over the huge number of climbers making their way to the world's highest peak that stands at 8,848 meters. Since Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay first conquered the Mount Everest 66 years ago, thousands have tried to repeat the feat. About 4,800 have succeeded, while over 300 are believed to have died on the mountain. This year, 11 mountaineers, including four Indians, died on their way to the summit. After international outrage, Mohan Krishna Sapkota, secretary at Nepal Tourism Board said, we are looking into having a minimum requirement for climbers, fixing more ropes or taking more oxygen and Sherpas. Adults who have completed advanced mountaineering courses from recognized training institutes are eligible. Nepal Tourism Board clears eligible applicants and issues permits. But experts recommend that only those with minimum of four to five years of experience of trekking Himalaya peaks over 7,000 meters attempt it. Climbing season is between March to May, with the weather window, the most favorable period for climbing, lasting just 10 to 12 days in May. During this period, the westerly winds are at 40 km per hour at the 2,000 meter range. For the rest of the year, Winds about 120 km per hour are constant, making mountaineering impossible. Above 8,000 feet, even the fittest can struggle to cope and can face nausea, fatigue, vomiting, headaches in the freezing high altitudes. To put things in perspective, the Everest base camp of the south side is at 17,600 feet, with the Everest at 29,000 feet. To survive every minute above 26,000 feet is considered an achievement. This year, the NBT issued 381 permits. On May 21, about 250 of those climbers accompanied by their Sherpas reached near the summit around the same time. The result was a serpentine queue to the top. This particular year, the weather was a little uh, abnormal. Uh, the weather patterns were abnormal and the jet streams weren't leaving the mountains and was keep coming back. That resulted in unfavorable conditions of climbing which otherwise in other year uh, we used to get eight to ten uh, weather windows this year there were only two and everyone tried to grab the first opportunity to go and climb uh, mount everest because it's so costly and expedition so whichever the first opportunity was they just tried to bag it and that led to many number of climbers on the mountain on one single day now this resulted in traffic jam Permits cost up to $11,000 plus $4,000 deposit to climb Mount Everest. Along with this, every climber pays $35,000 for camping, food, medicine, transport and a Sherpa. Sherpas are paid between Rs. 3 lakhs to 4 lakhs. The mandatory climbing gear has about 22 items, including 5 oxygen cylinders weighing 4.5 kilos that last 7 to 8 hours plus a spare. The special clothing can cost up to Rs. 5 lakh. Most applicants are granted permits by the NTB, which are issued on a first-come, first-served basis. It has been said that the absence of a clear policy on permits issued and granting amateur, insufficiently trained climbers permission for the expedition is putting their lives at risk. If the traffic jam was uh, I'm all, like, you know, comprised of only uh, experienced mountaineers, that would have been still, like, you know, uh, somehow things could have been worked out. But then this is a mixed bag. Now, Nepal doesn't have any restrictions on who can go for Mount Everest, like what kind of skills are required, like what kind of experience are required. So there are a lot of inexperienced climbers. Now these climbers had created a lot of bottleneck because on an, a technical area, these inexperienced climbers had taken more time, obviously. Imagine I have 20 people in front of me and uh, if um, 20 people are going through as a technical area which is taking five minutes each that means 100 minutes are gone for me just for by waiting i might get cold i might get hypothermic i might get frostbite i might deplete my oxygen 
Enormous amounts of waste has been left behind by the climbers at the Everest. The world's highest peak has seen a steady influx of visitors in recent years, leading to a snowy graveyard of discarded oxygen cylinders, garbage, human waste and bodies of those who died trying to scale it. This year alone, Nepal's army, along with activists and expert agencies, spent two months collecting 11,000 kilos of garbage and removed four dead bodies from the route to the peak.